no matter what you're doing, whether you're playing WoW Classic or WoW Retail, whether you're PvPing, PvEing, raiding, playing the auction house for profit, crafting, you can increase the amount of gold you earn by about like 10 times or more and spend way less money by using one simple tool I'm going to share with you in this video. This tool allowed me to have like easily enough money to cover any expenses. I have over a thousand gold by the time I hit level 20 and like no problems whatsoever to afford whatever like theory and chance, uh, best blue items on my character while I level, best and chance, like whatever. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I just think it's worth doing so. So before we begin, uh, we have to get one thing right about money making and how it works. So making money, any method of making money, is you spending time to create value and you earn money by exchanging this value for money. For example, you may be farming items and selling them on the auction house, that's value. You may be crafting items for tips or you may be using your own ingredients, crafting and selling items themselves, that's valuable. You may be doing enchants for tips or for your ingredients. You may be offering class services like lockpicking, portals, summons if you're a rogue, mage or warlock. No matter what you do, earning money is spending time to either create value that people pay for or exchange value for gold or spend gold to get more gold in return by using your knowledge. Like you buy an item for one gold and sell it for 10 gold because you know it's worth 10 gold. So you make profit that way. For example, if you're offering lockpicking services, you are spending time and you provide value people pay for. You spam trade chat, you stay on the Iron Mode Bridge for 10 minutes, you provide value by allowing players to get loot from their boxes. You open their logo boxes, they pay you for that. So you exchange your time for money. If you're crafting for tips, once again, you spend time you provide value, you spam the trade chat, you negotiate, you move around the cities, you provide value by allowing players to get items or enchants they need, people pay you for it. Exchange your time for money. If you're farming something and selling it, you are spending time to farm the item and you allow someone to get the item without having to know where it comes from, without having to spend an uncertain amount of time killing mobs, getting ganked, getting unlucky with drops, they can get it on demand right now when they need it, and so they pay you for it. Also, you can optimize the way you spend money. For example, you can spend less time spending money, which means more time earning money. Like if you spend less time buying what you need from the vendors, from the auction house, that's less time spent, and so more time can be spent earning money. Or if you buy items uh, for less uh, like than you usually pay or you buy them for optimal prices for example obviously you can pay less for an item if you know it's worth less so you see it like on the auction for one gold you know it's worth 30 silver you know like in an hour you can buy it for 30 silver you don't have to buy it for one gold now you can save money on the other hand you can save time by not trying to buy something too cheap like you might want to buy an item which is worth two gold for one gold you will negotiate trade you will ask in chat you will spend time even if you eventually buy the item cheap you spend time to do it so you wasted time in this time could be spent more productively like farming and you would get more money that way so you might think okay i saved money but you lost money so what I mean to say is you should pay attention to the time you spend and you should not only think about money spent or lost or gained, but also on the time. And so how can you make more money? Like, for example, obviously you can spend more time playing the game. Like if you farm for two hours instead of one hour, you will get more drops, you get more money. Or if you spend more time spamming, try it, the trade chat with your offers you will do more work and more money more tips but this is inefficient because you are just doing more work 
Instead, you should try to leverage what you're already doing and do it better. You can decrease the time spent, decrease the gold expenditure and increase the gold earned. And best thing is that if you do all of it, you multiply your gain exponentially. For example, say it takes you 10 minutes to craft and sell something that costs 2 gold to make, you sell it for 3 gold. So you make 1 gold in 10 minutes or 6 gold per hour. Now, let's say you find a way to do it twice as fast. So you could take 5 minutes to craft something and sell it. It still costs 2 gold, you sell it for 3 gold, you earn 1 gold in 5 minutes or 12 gold per hour, twice the amount. Or, say you can find a way to do two things at once. So now it still takes 10 minutes, it takes 2 gold to make, it sells for 3 gold, but you sell it for twice as much. So you earn 2 gold in 10 minutes or 12 gold per hour. Or, say you can find a way to make it cheaper, so now it takes one gold to make. So you can still sell it for three gold, but you make two gold in 10 minutes, 12 gold per hour. Or say you can find a way to sell it for more, so it takes 10 minutes to make something that takes two gold to make for four gold. You make two gold per 10 minutes or 12 gold per hour, twice the amount. But what if you do all of the above? You spend twice as little time, twice as little money, sell for twice as much, sell twice as many items. You spend 5 minutes, sell 2 items, they cost 1 gold to make for 4 gold. Now you're making 6 gold in 5 minutes or 72 gold per hour. So by applying all the strategies, you end up earning 12 times as much. You see where it's going, right? By improving your effectiveness in multiple areas, they multiply. They don't add up they multiply, so you increase your income exponentially. Some examples how you can do it. Like if you're just playing the game, not farming, not crafting, you can spend less money on class reagents and consumables you use. You can spend less money on services. You can spend less money on enchants on your gear upgrades. You can spend less time deciding and getting your enchants or gear upgrades. You can spend less time selling your loot on the auction house or to the vendor. You can spend less time deciding what to post, like what to post, for how much to post it, or whether it's worth to post on the auction house at all. Less time spent, more money. If you're farming items for gold, you can spend less time posting items that dropped, you can spend less time deciding whether to post or vendor the item, you can spend less time selling junk to the vendor or disenchanting the items, you can post items for higher amount of money knowing they will sell. Or you can skip posting items that won't sell and skip wasting money on auction house deposit and wasting time. If you're crafting and selling for profit, you can spend less and uh, like less time buying the ingredients. You can spend less time crafting. You can spend less time buying vendor ingredients like threads and vials for crafting. You can spend less money by buying some vendor ingredients cheaper at the auction house. You can spend less time posting, less time deciding what to craft, what to avoid crafting. Spend less time on ingredients from the auction house, less time buying the ingredients on the auction house. You can stockpile more ingredients for cheaper and use them when they become expensive on the auction house. You can sell items for more profit or sell more profitable items and avoid trying to sell less profitable items. You can spend less time posting items or like spend less time cancelling undercut auctions and reposting them to undercut your competition, and so on. And once again, everything applied together multiplies exponentially and brings you a thousand results. If you are playing auction house for profit, uh, like reselling items, you can spend less time finding good deals, buying, posting, reposting, cancelling, deciding what's worth to play, and once again, waste less time trying to sell items for too high prices or don't sell items too low. If you are reselling items from vendor for profit, like recipes, trade goods, you can spend less time deciding whether it's worth it, less time posting, cancelling, once again. So once again, power is that everything applied together, it's multiplying and it allows you to tremendously increase your profits. And there is one single add-on that can help you with all of the above. That's what I want to share with you guys in this video. 
That one is called TSM or Trade Skill Master. So here is this add-on here. It's an insanely powerful add-on. It can, it can literally earn you thousands of gold in WoW Classic and millions of gold in retail. I don't know what the inflation reached there by now. With this add-on, I was able to earn thousands of gold without even getting past level 20. And I'm going to talk about WoW Classic, but most of what I talk about can be applied to retail as well. Like, easily, uh, it's the same, basically. So this add-on is notorious for being very hard to understand and people often give up because they say like it's complicated, but really it's that simple. People just overcomplicate stuff and so I will explain everything. It's very easy, very simple and it's a very great add-on. So first of all, uh, the way add-on comes out of the box, it comes with a companion app. So you want to install their app, you want to register, it's free install their app and this will allow you to get the data from the database for the auction. Now, this add-on provides you with a tooltip on the item. So what you see here uh, below like the item information, uh, trade skill master info, accounting, auction DB, all this information is provided by the add-on. So this item provides you with information what's the item worth its history of its price, how much, like, uh, how many you sold, how many you bought, all this sort of information. Then, this add-on uh, provides a crafting interface, which uh, provides a lot of useful stuff, but mainly it provides profit calculations. Like, you can at a glance see that Dark Iron Rifle is 16 gold profit, and, like, if you hover it, you can see it's 33 gold to craft, 16 gold to profit of this craft. You can quickly see what's profitable to do, what's not profitable to do for you. Then, it provides an auction house interface, which is very advanced, and out of the box, it provides a very good shopping interface. So it's very easy to like look for items, and very easy to buy items on the auction house with this interface. And finally, it provides the way to automate like everything. It saves so much time and so much hassle. That's what I'm going to explain in this video. So in this video, I will explain the basics of how this add-on helps and what can it help you with. In the description down below, there will be a link to another video which explains how to set up the add-on. Like as I said, people overcomplicate, but really it's very simple. You can simply set up this add-on and you will get a lot of benefit out of it. So let's begin with how this add-on can uh, help you. Let's disable uh, the add-ons I have now and let me show you how it works. So let's disable this add-on and let's disable... Where is it? Skill master and disable HI whatever. And I'll just explain. So let's say you're selling loot, basic stuff. So you got some item drop for you. You want to know like what to sell it for. Without add-ons, like you wouldn't see this uh, thing below, like uh, the tooltip. You would only see Markov Kern, Soulbound, Unique, for Stamina, 20 attack power. Then you go like, okay, let me demonstrate better. H-I-J-K, where is I? H-I, informant, yes. Now it's gonna be properly showing. Like I thought I disabled everything, but I didn't. Let's see, is it proper now? Yeah, so you only see that this is a ring for stamina 20 attack power. So what does it sell for? You don't know. Is it good? Is it bad? You don't know. What to sell it for? Okay, well, while, while you're at the instance, you don't know if it's good or not at all. You come to the auction. What can you do? You can search for it. 
let's say you see it, okay. But what if you wouldn't like Ring of Thunderwood? Like, let's say there would be no ring here. Do you know what to sell it for? No, you have to guess. Is this ring good? Is this ring bad? Like, this epic thing, is it good? Is it bad? Like, is it useful or not? For example, there can be some blue pants uh, or blue chest. For example, blue leather chest, level 18. And you might think, oh, it's a very good, like, leather, agility, stamina, people would pay a lot for it. But no, because they can get one from, like, Dark uh, Deadmines quest. A very good one for the rogue. So they won't pay a lot for it because they're a cheap alternative. At the same time, it may be very good because it's like the best in slot to ink item ever. So it's gonna sell for a huge amount of money. You never know. So unless you find it on auction, even then, like maybe this ring is worth 100 gold. You should buy it right now and resell it. You don't know. So this is how it looks without any add-ons. Now I'm gonna compare Trade Skill Master with Auctioneer because it's another popular add-on which is used for selling stuff. So let's say you have Auctioneer. With Auctioneer you get a little bit of information. So you can look at the item and you can see, let's see, yes. You can see this item has a market price of 23 gold and you can already guess like what's it worth. However, auctioneer, you have to manually scan the auction like this. And you have to do it every time. You have to like log in the game, do this as many times as you do this, like as many times the add-on will know the state of the auction. And so the more you do this, the more accurate the information becomes. But, like maybe you do it once a day twice a day but still it's not as effective as trade skill master why because trade skill master has an app which syncs with the database online so now i will say you I'll show you how it works with trade skill master with trade skill master you get the information from the app from the service so it knows all the history for your server for the entire like time of the server existing if you started playing just now installed auctioneer just now then even if you like just started playing auctioneer will know nothing but trade skill master knows everything so trade skill master can show you like the market price here the historical price like market value is over the last seven days historical price is over the last like 30 days it can show you region price region price is uh, like for whole region for whole europe or for whole america so for example you can see some item which is uh, cheaper on your realm but more expensive in your region and so that way you know that maybe this item will sell for more like these pants they are like seven gold uh, market nine, nine gold market price but they are 10 gold or 14 gold market average on the region so for some reason maybe we got lucky with drops on our server so the item is cheaper now but on the region it's more expensive so it's a good expensive item and you can expect to sell it for more maybe like in a 10 days when people sell what they have so this can give you information, valuable information to make your decision. Now, for example, you want to buy like your consumables or your ingredients or your reagents. Like you want to get an enchant. Let's disable the add-ons again. Like let's say uh, you want to buy large brilliant chart for your enchanting. You want to get an enchant you want to use your own ingredients, just pay a tip. You have no add-ons installed. You go to the auction, you know you need a large brilliant chart. You type it in. Oh, what did I do? And here is what you get. You can sort by bid, okay. But you don't know if this is an optimal price. 
You can only sort by bid. You cannot sort by buyout. You cannot sort by individual price. Like, is this a good price? I don't know. I can scroll like six pages. Maybe I'll find it cheaper. Oh, here it is for free gold. But I would never know. Like, uh, let's demonstrate. Like here, silver bar, 46 silver. And there are a lot of pages. Is there a better option? I don't know. Oh, here it is, for 9 silver. But since it sorts by current bid by default, it's ridiculously hard to find a better offer. Okay, there are two bars for 28. Is it a good deal? I have to use a calculator to calculate. Like, divide it by 2, by 5. Like, this one is 14 silver per one. This one is about 10 silver per one. So it's better than 18 silver. So you have to do this all by hand. It's very 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 complicated if you use add-ons that becomes way better so let's compare what auctioneer provides and what tsm provides auctioneer already provides you with a good interface to buy stuff so i'll demonstrate now once again let's say need large brilliant chart or need a silver bar it has like search where is it? Uh, where is it? Yeah, the search, of course. It has a search. You can sort by total buyout, or you can search by total bid, or you can search by individual bid and buyout. So this way you can find the best deal quickly, like the best deal for large brilliant chart is this one for free gold and silver or silver bar. Okay, I need. Once again, I cannot sort for just silver bar. I have to look for both. It's not convenient, but I can buy total, and you can see here buy each. I need to go to buy each like this and so now I have the best offer here so I see that the best offer is 9 silver 45 copper for one or 9 silver 52 copper but I have to buy six and so on and so forth I can quickly see that it's better to buy like this lot than this lot because this lot is 9 silver per one and this is 15 silver per one so this is great however in the shopping interface for trade skill master it's way better. Here, uh, I can easily see all the auctions. Uh, here, the history, once again, is downloaded from the servers. So I don't have to refresh all the time to know, like, what's the market price for the item. I don't have to scan the auction, it scans automatically. Uh, here, it's more convenient to buy or bid on the auctions. I will demonstrate right now. and. The interface itself is like one single screen. Don't have to scroll between pages. You can easily like choose the item and ignore the second item. It wouldn't mix it. You can easily sort by bid, by buyout, whatever you want, and so on and so forth. So this is like very, very, very useful. Next thing is, for example, you want to buy crafting ingredients. Once again, like let's say you want to buy a bronze bar and you're an engineer and a miner. So your options are to uh, basically buy the bronze bar itself or you can buy, moment, where is it, Red Skill Master? Or you can buy, yes, go. Or you can buy individual like copper and tin bars, or you can buy ores. Let's say you have no add-ons. That's like huge pain. So you have to look for bronze bar. You have to navigate this like thing and you have to record all the prices, like calculate manually, like five bronze bars for 23. What's that per one bar? Okay, there is 16 for 80. Is that more profitable or not? Then you have to look for tin. 
Oh, it searches for pristine diamond. Tin ore then, sure. Tin ore, it's like two per one, but maybe there is like, okay, four per two. Maybe there is more, like, uh, okay, 16 per five, 20 per 10. So you have to look all this manually, tin bar. You have to record it all like on a piece of paper or in your head. Then you have to figure it out. It's, as you can see, it's ridiculous. If you have auctioneer on, of course, that becomes easier. With auctioneer, you can uh, use, for example, snatch lists or search interface. It's already better, as I demonstrated. So you can make like uh, this custom search here in the snatch list. You can add items here and it will search for all of them at once. So like, tin, what am I doing? Let's quickly, um, how do I do it? It's like this. Yes. You go like snatch, tin bar. Once again, you go snatch and I'll just do it like this quickly to demonstrate. Snatch. Now it's all here. Now you can do a snatch search. And maybe you can like see all of them at once and kind of scroll from them. But it's very inconvenient. Once again, it's not useful like interface for this purpose. If you go to TSM, it's incredibly useful. If you set up the groups, like I have set up my groups, I just pick bronze, pick shopping scan. I wait a bit. I have all the information at my disposal. I can see the prices for copper bars, tin bars, copper ore, tin ore, bronze bar, all at once. I can see, okay, the bronze bar price is for silver 67. The copper bar is for 140, tin ore. So it's the best idea right now to buy tin ore and copper bars and smelt them. That will be the optimal price. I can see, okay, how many do I have? I have uh, two for this price, nine for this price, three, two. So I can see how much each I need to get. I can hover the item. You can see it says inventory free, player zero, alts free, zero in the auction house. So it knows how many I have. So I can see like, okay, I already have 197 copper and no tin. So I can buy 197 tin and smelt it with the copper to make bronze. It's way faster to do it this way. Okay, let's say you want to mail items to your bank house. Like for example, I have crafted this Fissile tea. So if I use the basic power interface, I have to send mail, type the old name, click each item individually and send it. That's the way. Auctioneer does not provide any other way to do it. With Trade Skill Master, not only can I click the items like this, let me close the window. So I can click the same item like this, it will send it three times. So it will send three stacks of Fissile Tea like this. You can see it sold three stacks. I can also group the item and make rules that automate the process. So I have this group here and I can just say send everything but keep 10 for my personal use because I'm a rogue, I use Fissile Tea myself. So I click the button, it's done. You can see 10 remained in the inventory, everything else was sent away. So it's very convenient to mail stuff this way. Okay, next, deciding what to craft. Let's switch to my crafting gold, for example, yes. This person is leather working and tailoring. So how do you decide what items you craft? Without an add-on, you have to manually keep track of everything. It's insane, it's really insane. Like, without an add-on, what the hell? You get this tiny little window and 
you don't get any information about what you can craft. So you have to like, again, remember you don't get all this information about profits and stuff. You just have to remember like green leather braces sell well and green well parmer sells really well, but barbaric leggings don't sell and guardian belt is very profitable, but thick murloc armor is not profitable. You have to scroll it like this, you cannot search it. You can only sort by slots and by classes. You cannot like look up by name, whatever. With auctioneer, you don't get any information except you get the market price. So you can see, okay, these barbaric shoulders sell for 51 silver, okay. You don't know for how many, like, for, for, how, for what prices you can get ingredients. So you don't really know if it's profitable or not. You have to calculate. You have to look at this. Okay, market price is like uh, 35 silver for this and 27 for this and 10 for this. You have to sum it up like in a calculator in your head. Then you know like if it's good or not. But with Trade Skill Master, you get this interface. It's amazing. You see all the profits right here. You can see like every item immediately on the tooltip. Crafting cost, crafting profit. You can see how many of this item you have already sold. Like I've sold 26 heavy armor kits, 33 silver minimum price, 64 silver maximum price. I've sold the last one one day 20 hours ago. So I know immediately like, for example, right now it's cheap on the auction house for 10 silver, 13 silver. So it's not profitable to craft. But I know it is, because I know I regularly sell it for high prices. So it's very easy to decide what to craft. And then you get the groups. So not only you can easily see what to craft, you can automatically just craft whatever has sold according to your own rules. So I just have to look at the auction house to see what sold. And now the add-on knows what items I have to craft. I just click this. That's it. That's the list of what I have to craft. Like, see, dusky leather armor. Let me show you. Dusky leather armor. Uh, it's uh, in a group which says craft only one. So since it just sold, I don't have any in inventory. So the add-on knows I have to craft one of it. Or for example, human leather shoulders. Once again, I can look up by name and it says, like here, it says again, uh, okay, these nimble leather gloves, what am I saying? Uh, human s shoulders, not leather shoulders. Here they are. So this one, I should craft five. It sees there are three on the auction house. So I should craft two of them. So it places two here. So it's very easy to decide what to craft because you can store all this information, not in your head, but in the game, in the rules, and they just, does it for you. Very convenient. Then, crafting itself. Once again, let's say I store this information in my head and I know that I have to craft like this, this and this. Okay. If I don't have an add-on, I open the crafting interface and I go like, okay, I have to craft two of these, one of these, like two of these. So I go manually like click craft, create, then I look for next item, like this item. Okay, click create and so on and so forth. It's very slow. With auctioneer, again, there is uh, no help with that. So you have to do it all manually. But with uh, TSM, let me check my mailbox quick. Yeah, there are some expired items. So the add-on should know these items expired. So it doesn't craft them because the add-on has no way of knowing if the item is not in the, like, if the item is in the mailbox, but the add-on doesn't see it, it doesn't know if uh, the item, like, is in the inventory or not, so it will try to craft it, but it really shouldn't, because the item is actually present. So let but me for easy. now just deposit something here. So yes quick interface which shows all that you have to craft according to your own rules. Quick interface 
that allows you to craft easily. Like, it shows what you have mats for, what you don't have mats for. Like, uh, I know I have to take out more woolen cloth and more um, silk uh, cloth and heavy leather from the bank. I will also have to make a detour to the vendor to buy some thread. Good luck. All that is visible here in the add-on. Let's get the stuff. Yes, now it sees everything. Now it will properly restock the groups. Now I see what I have to craft. Like from tailoring, I have to craft linen shirt. And I can just use mouse wheel to craft next one. Craft next one. It's very easy. It's very convenient. It's automatic almost. Like, okay, I have crafted everything I can. It's all red now. No ingredients. Switch to leather working. Craft next one. Very easy, very quick. You just use your mouse scroll and you craft everything. It's automated and it's very, 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 very fast. Very useful. Like, next, posting the items. So let's say I crafted all this stuff. Now I have to post it on the auction. What would I do if I would not have any add-ons? I would basically be ruined <laughs> because without add-ons I would have to drag each item manually into the box. I would have to put the price manually and I would have to post it. So let me just demonstrate how many items I sell daily. So you can see like just today this is how many items I've sold. Like, I scroll, 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 that's all. Let's say, how many items have I sold in the last, like, day? Does it say the amount of items anywhere? It doesn't seem like it. But you can see it's per page, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. It's like 20 per page. And there is like one page, two pages, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's like 20 pages of 20 items. It's like 400 items sold. That's sold. How many items have expired? And that's insane. That's literally insane. So if I would have to post every item individually, I would spend like hours doing it. Like manually like this. Oh, here, post. Like the item, that's ridiculous. I wouldn't see this information. I would have to type everything manually. With auctioneer, you have appraiser. With appraiser, you can see like what the competition is. It can suggest for you the price. Like right now, it suggests higher price because it thinks this is uh, like too low or whatever. But still, it's slow. With Trade Skill Master, after you've set everything up, you just press one button, post. It scans all the auction for you. It sees everything. It has rules what to post for. You just wait for it to do your work. You can craft meanwhile. Let's craft some more thin cloth. When it's done, you just scroll your mouse wheel. It posts everything. That's it. It's so easy, so freaking easy. It's insane. It saves so much time. It's literally insane. Next, uh, buying ingredients for crafting. So, uh, let me demonstrate quickly. Say I quickly check the auction for like most important ingredients for my tailor. I quickly see all the most important ingredients, which of them are cheapest. I can quickly buy the cheapest ones. I can quickly see how many I have. Like I have 100 bolts of silk cloth. You can see it says 103. So I can quickly say, okay, I get, need more silk cloth. Just pick, I see, okay, I'll buy it. What do I buy it usually for? I buy it usually for one silver, 93 copper. So let's say I want to buy everything cheaper than that. Just scroll the wheel. I buy it quickly. I buy it until I'm done. That's it. 
I bought everything I want. I stopped buying. I see now, okay, I have 188 waiting in my mailbox, which I will then convert to silk or like light leather, quite expensive. Heavy hide is cheap, okay. So let's stockpile on cheap heavy hide. Buy all the cheap one, don't buy the expensive one. Imagine how long it will take if I would use this interface. Go through all these stacks, manually calculate the price per stack. It's insane. This is quick and easy, like medium leather. I have 500 already, don't need any more. Light height, I have a little bit, can buy some more. Let's see what's on offer. Let's buy four. That's it, I bought four light height. So simple, so great. Like you can do it easily, quickly. Now let's talk about vendor ingredients. So as a tailor and leather worker, I need thread, I need dyes, like if I would be crafting manually, I would go through this, go like, okay, I want to craft this, I need blue dye, and then I need, uh, what else, fine thread, I need more blue dye, more blue dye, I need, uh, what else, like bleach. So I'd go to the vendor, I'd go like, okay, if I want to buy, I need to craft one phoenix gloves through three silk cloth uh, hoods, that's six blue dyes and two bleaches. It's insane. What do I do here? I set everything up in groups. So I have the groups set up, which says buy 10 of the dyes, buy 20 salt, and buy 80 coarse thread and 100 fine thread. That I decided to do because on average, like that's how much I need of everyone. I just come here and click this. It's done. It just takes some time because it buys a lot. That's it. I've restocked everything. I can go. I can like visit this vendor like once in a day and I have all the vendor ingredients I need. Once again, crafting is as simple as just scrolling the mouse. So I just scroll the mouse until I can no longer scroll the mouse. When I can no longer scroll the mouse, I have to visit the bank and get more ingredients out of it. Okay, uh, what about if the item is cheaper on the auction uh, than it is at the vendor? Like for example, coal, coal can be cheaper at the auction. Like when I need some ingredient, I can, let me show you. Quickly look at it and see, okay, so market value of coal is three silver, but buying the coal from the vendor is five silver. Okay, so the coal is better to be bought on the auction house, not from the vendor. I see this information immediately and I can like skip buying coal at the vendor until I look at auction prices. I look at auction prices and see, okay, coal is cheaper at auction, so buy it at auction. Don't buy it from the vendor. Easy. As I said again, crafting just as easy as scrolling the mouse. Okay, next. Reselling items for profit. This is impossible with the basic interface. Like, let's say I want to resell enchanting materials for profit. I want to buy them cheap and sell them for more. How do I do that without add-ons? I don't. It's gonna take me so much time. Like, this old is used for this purpose. You can see I've sold some mystic essences and nether essences. Let's quickly loot them. Let's go visit the auction and see. So, let's quickly visit the auction and see. Um, yeah, the add-on is disabled, should be enabled. Now it's enabled, now it's all good. So, with basic interface, I would once again have to look for everything individually, like illusion dust. I would only see the dust for what it's worth. 
I would have to scroll through all the pages manually, have to record in my head like what's the proper price, buy it. Then I would have to post it manually, like drag it here, uh, split it in stacks. If I want to put it in one, I have to do it like this. It's not really, not really possible at all. With Auctioneer, I could use appraiser interface. Like I can choose the stack size, the amount, the price. Still, for every kind of material, I have to do it manually. With Trade Skill Master, I have all the groups set up. One shopping scan. Let's uh, just scan for dust so it's quicker. So it scans everything. It shows me at a glance, okay, these are the prices. So right now, the Dream Dust is extremely oversold. It's like 10 silver. Let's see. On average, I buy it for 13 and sell it for 15. So it's a good buy. So, yes, I can buy some Dream Dust for 10 silver. And I will put it back for more. Like right now, I've spent several seconds to buy 63 lots of Dream Dust. It would take how much to do it manually? Like buy out, accept, buy out, accept. You see, it would be insane. Here, just quickly do it. Okay, strange dust, I have enough. Like I see I have 255 in my inventory, so I already bought it. Now I'm trying to sell it. Don't buy anymore. Dream dust, I bought uh, 65. I guess that's enough. Vision Dust, I don't have any. So let's buy some Vision Dust chip. Again, tick, 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 tick. Only buy the cheap one. That's it, we bought all the cheap Vision Dust. Illusion Dust, yes, we can buy some. On average, it sells for 14. So we have a lot, 500, no, won't buy it. So on and so forth. You can set up very like customized stuff. Like I have my essences set up in this way, in these groups with custom prices. So for example, when I look for essences, it knows to convert the essence one into the other. And for example, if an essence would be six gold for greater, but 2.5 for lesser. So lesser is better to sell. It wouldn't say that greater one is like even if it's market price is six gold. So people buy and sell it for six, but people buy and sell lesser for two and five. It wouldn't say that a six gold greater essence is at the market price. It would say it's cheap because it knows, because I set it up, that I can resell it for more. So it's all automated for me. Again, greater mystic essence, it's 13 silver to buy it now, but I can resell it for 35. So let's get this. Okay, I have enough, I think. What else can I get? I can get greater nether. Like on average, I buy it for two gold. Right now it's expensive, so not really useful. I, I will keep my money for now. I think I bought enough. So as you can see, it makes reselling items for profit very easy. You just open, scan, and you pick and choose what you want to stockpile on and then you resell it automatically it all does like this all this is done automatically then cancelling auctions uh, let's go with disenchanting first so disenchanting again i have all this stuff do i want to disenchant it i have to click disenchant item click disenchant like what's crap Disenchant this. Okay. Disenchant. That's also crap. Mm. Whatever. Basically, what I want to disenchant, I click, I click. If I have Trade Skill Master, I have this list. In this list, I can quickly remove the items which sell well. Like this sold, this sold. This don't sell, don't sell, don't sell. Okay, I removed all the items I will sell. The rest I can do like this. Scroll the mouse. Done. Scroll the mouse. Done. 
you see way faster then reselling vendor items so let's say i want to resell like recipes let's uh, view another character's inventory so let's say i have this recipe is it good to resell not? let's say i find this recipe at a vendor it costs like one gold i'm like should i spend one gold or not will it resell will it not with basic game i don't know anything unless i visit the auction so i have to log out log in look at the price like i log out with my character i log in at another character i go okay uh, let's see that person inventory again it's uh forum widget schematic schematic type it again forum widget okay i see it sells for like four gold maybe i don't know i don't know if it's a good price or not because i don't see this percentage okay now i decide i want to buy it i log back it's gone because it's a limited availability item so on and so forth with tsm i immediately see okay it's uh, sold for four gold and i already sold nine of it on average for four gold so i know i should buy this item other items maybe i should not like for example this item doesn't sell i try to sell it it doesn't sell so i know it so i don't buy it or this item once again try to sell it doesn't sell so don't buy it and so this all is very much simplified by this add-on next canceling auctions imagine i want to cancel auctions and repost them it's insane like i have to click cancel auction click cancel auction i have 600 that's gonna take insane amount of time like i have 400 auctions right now canceling them all is gonna be insane what do i do with trade skill master scroll the mouse that's it I can cancel them very quickly, a lot of them, by just scrolling the mouse. I can hide auctions with bid, so I don't actually cancel what's bid on. I can select like only this, only this, and cancel them. More than that, I can do a cancel scan, like this. Auctioning, cancel scan. It will see like which auctions are undercut it will say okay cancel this because the opponent posted cheaper so cancel and repost cheaper let's see it decided to hang up for some reason yes here it is you see you've been undercut here i have not been undercut so this auction is okay but this has been undercut so it will allow me to quickly cancel undercut auctions go take them repost them once again saves a lot of time it would be impossible without this so this video is very long but it's a like full guide about what can you do to get more gold and if you do all of this as i said it compounds on it, each other so it allows you to get way more money like it's impossible to make great money without this maybe you can like uh, make money farming gold but if you want to do anything related to crafting auction it's impossible even if you're farming it's way better to use this add-on because it allows you to do so much more so in this video i explained how this add-on can improve all the areas of money making and money spending if you want to know how to set up this add-on to do all that which I demonstrated, please watch the video in the description below, which is a comprehensive guide for dummies to set up Trade Skill Master. Simple, easy, quickly, no fuss, no complications. It's really easy, it's really simple. You set it up and you gradually make it more complicated. You gradually tailor it for your own personal preferences. And that's it. But for now, thank you very much for watching this video and please like and share 
it helps me a lot subscribe for more content and see you in my next video goodbye